Yeah, we got better as the game went on. You know, the first period was uh, pretty blase, I think, on both sides. And second period, we suddenly found some offense and uh, created some scoring opportunities. Couldn't score, but at least we got some shots on net and uh, loosened things up in their end. And then uh, Johnson scored a big goal, obviously, five on five. And, uh, you know, we hung in there. We, we gave up some, some good scoring chances, and Susanna came through for us again. You know, last week, the uh, special teams was a big part of the story. This Today, we didn't really have many penalties against us or for us. Uh, what was the game plan with that? Well, uh, we were caught by surprise. You know, we're so used to having quite a few penalties called. Uh, I mean, and, and that's fine. The way the, the way the game went, uh, I'm okay with it, uh, especially after our power play practice this week. I didn't mind only going twice. But a actually, they, they did move the puck well. and. Uh, you know, who knows what tomorrow will bring, but 5-on-5 five five hockey is just fine. Erin Johnson has been playing pretty good for you over the last uh, four or five games. She's got a point streak going. Uh, what can you say about her play? You know, it's it's just great that she's turned her season around. I mean, you know, I think the first half she was relatively quiet, and, uh, she, you know, she's back playing with Bowerfield, and they've always had a great chemistry, and Erin's, uh, you know, off to a good start in the second half and we need you know we need scoring from somebody besides the Cody Monquist Erickson line so it's great to have her contribute. Um, talk about the Z you know having a little bit of a rough weekend last weekend with North Dakota you know come back and get in the shutout today. Well she's a pro you know she's been around the horn and um, she I knew she'd come back and she had a better week of practice this week and um, you know, she didn't see a, a lot of shots, but she saw some quality shots and, and came up big. And I think any time you get a shutout, no matter what, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something special. So um, she was she was tough when she needed to be tough. Family, um, you led the team today in shots with five. You got the empty netter there at the end. We didn't have a whole lot of power play chances, but um, you know, what was it like out there being you know a lot of five on five hockey today? Uh, it was nice. There was a lot of good flow today, which which we like. I mean, we want to go out there and be the team five on five, so we did it. Uh, so you had a pretty big day in that. You got another shutout. Um, you didn't face a whole lot of shots in one given period, but just a consistent amount. You know, what was it like today, especially bouncing back after last weekend? I mean, we wanted to bounce back because we didn't play that great last weekend, so we definitely wanted to win. And girls really helped me out back there. They didn't really let any rebounds to get to me, so that was really nice. And both of you, um, it's your third year playing Minnesota State. Um, what is it kind of about them that matches up well with us? You know, every single, every single game against them, it's always a close game. It's never like a blowout. A lot of times it's either overtime or a shootout, you know. What is it that you think about Minnesota State? Um, I think they have a high battle level, and we know that coming in. I mean, it's, it's a matter of, uh, I mean, they're a good team, and they work hard, and they're, they're never going to give up, and we know that about them, so. Um, we got three points today. Uh, another big game tomorrow for the standings after dropping some points last week. You know, what do we look out, what do we look for closing the season off? I mean, we definitely would love to start playoffs in this building, so we got to get some more points, and that starts tomorrow. So we definitely look forward to tomorrow.